Welcome back everyone. We have a new section here, all oriented around a single exercise, building the game of Hangman. However, what I just said was sort of a lie because you're not going to build it from scratch. I'm going to give you some starter code, a partially completed app, and ask you to add in and tweak a bunch of features. As you can see here, there's what, six different parts plus a couple of optional ideas. So unlike other exercises, we're not gonna start from scratch. You will not be running Create React App. Instead, you're going to download my React app, CD into it, and you'll have to npm install to make sure you go and get all those dependencies, and then you'll start the app just like any other app. Okay, so before we run through the different parts, let me just show you what it looks like out of the box. So this is what you'll see once you run npm start. Uh, it's not much to look at. I know it's not the most attractive game ever. Very cheesy interface. So the way that it works is that behind the scenes, there is a random word chosen, or there should be a random word chosen. Right now, the word is always Apple, A-P-P-L-E. If you don't know the game of Hangman, well, you pick letters trying to guess a word that you don't know. So if you guess one correct, it shows up in the correct spot, and now the button is grayed out. But if you guess a letter that's not in there, like G, we move on to the next stage. So there are multiple stages and you lose the game when the full stick figure is drawn here. So let me guess a couple more. Incorrect letters, you can see we're adding new limbs and this should be the final one. And the game right now is broken because it allows me to keep playing until one more, I lose the game and I get this bug where the image isn't displaying, but I can still click things and I can fill out the word. It's not how it's supposed to work. So that's part of what I'm gonna ask you to do. So I'm gonna walk through the steps here. Part zero is just to set everything up, make sure you can get it up and running, and then spend time running through the code, understanding it, trying to learn the, the component I wrote. So it's very simple. It's one component called Hangman. So there's not multiple pieces, but take a look at what's in props, what's stored in the state. Where are their click handlers? Oh, that sort of thing. Try and step through every piece of the existing code because you'll need to understand it before you can move on to the other pieces. So part one is really easy. Add a key. If we hop over here, right now, there's no key. We get this warning we've seen many times. So find a suitable key. What makes sense to use as that unique identifier? Part two, number of wrong guesses. So above the currently guessed word right here, we should display somewhere over here. It doesn't have to be right above. You could put it over here, down below, but this is a good spot for it. Display how many times the user has guessed something incorrectly. So it should say number wrong colon three or incorrect guesses. You have a lot of freedom and flexibility here, but just display the number of wrong guesses. Part three, end the game on loss. Right now the game doesn't end. There are only six gallows images. So here is the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, and sixth one. Okay, so right now the game doesn't end as we've seen. Uh, the image sometimes does go away, but I can continue to guess. As you can see here, I can guess the word. Okay, so fix that. Essentially, that's what I'm asking you to do. Make it work. So after six wrong guesses, it should no longer show the buttons at all. This should be gone. And in addition, there should be a message that says you lose or something like that, game over, and it should reveal the correct word. So in our case, Apple should be displayed here. So this will be hidden if you guess incorrectly too many times, the word should be revealed, and there should be some text that says game over. Also, make sure that you're not hard coding the number six as a number of guesses, because there are other versions of Hangman. I used to play this as a kid, uh, and we would get very extravagant adding hats and bow ties, shoes, lots of different articles, individual fingers for the really hard words. So let's make this extendable. People can pass in a prop for the max number of guesses. For us, it's going to be six, but make sure you're using a prop to store that. Don't hard code it. Part four is a relatively simple part. Right now, uh, these images that are displayed here are not accessible, for one thing, uh, because they don't have an alt attribute set on them. So if someone was using a screen reader, they wouldn't be able to tell what stage they were at in the game. In addition, if the images were unable to load for some reason, uh, a user who isn't using a screen reader wouldn't be able to tell where they were in the game. Also, we have this annoying warning, so we should get rid of this too.
So you'll need to add an alt prop, but instead of just alt text set to like hangman, make it something that explains where you are in the game. So something like five out of six incorrect guesses or five wrong guesses. Or if you want to go the other route and, and describe the state or the, the guy on the gallows, you know, one arm drawn, two arms drawn, but include some information that's useful in the alt attribute. Part five, use a random word. Right now, it's hard-coded as Apple. Not a very fun game when you know the word is Apple. So there's a file I've included. If you come over here, it's called words.js. And it's quite long, it's a bunch of random words. I want you to write code so that it picks one of those words at random from that file every time, instead of Apple. Then our last part is to add a restart button. Right now you lose the game, well there's no real losing and there's no real winning. Right now it just keeps going and the images hide and it's buggy. But we should pick a new random word and reset the guest list and number of wrong guesses when you click the restart button. So add a button maybe down here that says restart, start over, something like that. You can click it and everything is reset. So these buttons that are currently disabled, they should not be disabled anymore. Any letters that are filled in, any images that have changed, it should all be reset back to the beginning of the game. Finally, uh, a couple of other things. I'll start with these two. It'd be nice if you add a message in that tells a player they win that they guessed all the letters. It's not very difficult to do. Add in, you know, congratulations. Add better styling. That's gonna be more difficult. Um, not because this is good styling, but because styling in particular can be pretty annoying. But also, it, this is a hard game to really format nicely with all these buttons. I'm sure there are much better approaches. Maybe do a side-by-side -side layout with the buttons over here, larger. Maybe instead of buttons, allow a user to type letters. That would be a good one. So that's one option. Another thing that is a little bit more advanced is that you could refactor things to use a new component called alpha buttons. So alpha buttons would create a sequence of buttons with letters on them, and it would be nice if they could be reusable. So alpha buttons, the component should render a sequence of buttons corresponding to letters. So for hangman, we would pass in A through Z, but we could also make alpha buttons with only, I don't know, at vowels or something if we pass that in and then the hangman component should keep track of which letters have been guessed. So this is totally optional, uh, but the other, well, it's, of course it's all optional, right? Uh, that part is above and beyond. So start with these first initial parts and actually just start with part zero, make sure you can get it up and running. And most importantly, make sure you understand the code. In the next video, I will show the, a sort of a walkthrough of the code. So if you just wanna get onto the solution, skip the next video. But if you want a guided walkthrough explaining how it works currently, watch the next video.